I'm so hungry. Please, can you fit something for me to eat? Oh, okay, mom. Let me check the kitchen. Hey, I'll be back. Maybe to okay. add me to that food. <laughs> Mama, are you okay? Yes. Do you want anything to drink? Are you still angry? I'm not angry. I have to eat first. Mama, if you are still angry, then I, yeah, I don't know. Hey. Huh? Why is there Gary in the kitchen? Gary? I mean, is that what you take now? Um, no, it was, um, what's his name? Bright. He was here earlier. He was the one that ate it, not me. Okay. And what's my handbag doing in the kitchen? And the 20,000 naira that I left in there, I can't find it. I used it. To do what? Well, I gave it to Bright to order for something I saw online. And what's that? A wristwatch. A wristwatch? Mm -hmm. But I just got you a luxury wristwatch on Val's Day. Babe, but this watch is really nice and it's just 20k. Oh, goodness. And trust me, when you see that watch on my hands, I, I, I know it's gonna look good on me. I just got you a wristwatch. Why are you buying another one? Baby, just wait and see this watch. When I went and I'm flexing it, and Okay. Calm down now. It's just 20k. Why are you working yourself? Oh, this. It's a waste of money. Don't worry. Indeed. Well, please let me go fix you something. Okay. Mama, what's. Mm. What's. Mm. Just leave, leave us home. Leave us. Let us mind our business. That's my phone. You were the one that ate the curry. I mean, the one I saw the leftover in the kitchen. Me? Yes. What, 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 do, you, what do you mean, me? Bro, when? Don't be you chop the about what the, the kitchen. Oh. Guys, see, you like food too much. See, you can't even remember what you eat. What's wrong with you? That's how they cook eat. I'm not waiting to consume food for my belly. Mm -hmm. yeah. like, anyway, just give me water. Let me drink. Yeah? No, if you, if you want food, I could actually get food. Mm -hmm. Oh, fine. This is just... 
Hoodlums attacked me. What? Yes, and they even took my car. Huh? They did what? They took my car. They took your car? How? On my way home. This is real. We need to re report to the police station immediately. Why would you report to the police? Yes, now. I mean, um, I already reported to the police, so there's no need. Oh, better. But wait, wait. Uh, I mean, did, did they hurt you? No, I'm fine. Are you, are you sure? Oh, thank God, though. Baby. Thank God for me, ah, for my life. Those guys were just crazy. Oh my God, so you <sighs> really took your car? It's gone. Let me... But it's fine, you're fine, right? Yes, I'm good. That's the most important thing, okay? Mm. I'll, I'll be upstairs, let me just go and shower, okay? All right, I'll join you. No, don't worry, it's okay, just... I have this feeling that he's lying. Oh, come on, Bella. Look, I know you don't like him, but that's not enough reason for him to lie. I mean, why should he lie about his car? That is what I'm yet to figure out. I thought you said you have an event to attend. You want to send me a train? No, I just, I mean, don't worry, I'll call you. I need to go attend I'll call you. I do not owe you any explanation about where I put you. Are you my guardian angel? Yes! Yes, I'm your guardian angel! Toby, what is wrong with you? You need to grow up! You need to be a man! Are you serious? If I'm not a man, then what am I? Huh? Messi, I have called you severally, but you refuse picking my calls. Then you stop calling. Why are you bugging me? Why? Messi, why are you doing this to us? Why? To, to, to us? Look, there is absolutely nothing between us. So stop bugging me. Messi, I am the right man for you. Says who? And who says you're the right man for me? Why are you so blind to realize that you, you're just wasting your time with this guy? Eh? See, you need a responsible man like me. And not that hooligan you call a boyfriend. Okay, fine. You've been dating this guy for long and yet nothing to show for it. Is it that your relationship is on a standstill mood? Eh? Why not just give me a trial? Date me for a month and trust me, I'm taking you straight to the altar. Why? Stop wasting your time with this guy. Messi! Why are you so handsome? And why are you so beautiful? 
to that smile. It's priceless. You know, I can't wait to let the whole world know how much you mean to me. That you're the best thing that has ever happened to me. And I can't wait to. I mean, I can't wait. I'm happy God has finally answered my prayers. <laughs> to be your changing. You're changing for the better. Well, I have to change for the most beautiful woman. Right? The great last. It will. <laughs> oh yeah, um, babe, that reminds me. My cousin will be coming to spend a few days with us. I mean, so that she can help me fix some things when you're not around. fix your things before I leave for home every day. Yeah. Look, I am not saying your cousin is not allowed to come. But how come I've never seen or heard of this cousin before? So, um, she's a distant cousin, okay? They are based far in the north. It's just this NYSC thing that brought her down here. She just wants to know where I live. That's all. So, and it is good. I get to see her. Yeah, you will. Since know. I know all of your relatives and I do not know this cousin of yours. You will love her so much. Really? Just, yeah. Mm. She's very um, sociable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and she has. Is she as charming as my friends? I knew it. I knew it all along. I knew that a day like this would come. Cousin, brother, and sister, indeed. How dare you? How dare you? Why you should be like ashamed of yourself. And you? You're a traitor. You came in here. I gave you food. I did everything for you. And you do this to me? You will never go unpunished! Prostitute! Hey, 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 watch it. You say you're not coming here on time. What are you doing here? Oh! I didn't even finish what I was doing. Is that all you have to say? What do you want me oh, to say? Oh, no, so you want me to go and sleep there so that you can bring in prostitutes into this house? Hey, my friend, watch your mouth. What's wrong with you? Hey, don't talk to me like that. Oh, so that is it. That is why you are so lazy. That is why you do not want to work because you want to continue bringing women into. If I don't see you in 20 minutes, I'll be gone. Yeah. Oh, but please, please, my daughter, just calm down, okay? Calm down. I'm coming. You will see me now. Okay, I'm going to. Wait. Hey! Toby, 
Tobias will never kill me before my time. Tobias, you will not kill me before my time. Oh. Hey! My daughter is okay. It's okay, please. Stop crying. You have really tried. Yes. God knows that you have tried. But well, I want to beg you to give me one more chance. Give me just one more chance. No, Mom, no, I won't obey you this time. Like, I am leaving. I am leaving. To if I try this time and it doesn't work, I will not ask you to die in Tobias' hand. My husband did not hit me throughout our stay. And I will not be in support of my son laying hands on a woman. Never. I cannot support him. Don't go, okay? Where are they? Where are the beasts? I don't know. I mean, they are nowhere in this house. Maybe they'll go through the back door. I don't know. I don't know where they are. Okay. Let's go and come back to meet me in this house. I don't know. Let Tobias go and come back. Let me go. I can't bear this anymore, Mama. I can't. I can't bear it anymore. Requested to see me. I'm coming. Don't stay here. I'm coming. Juliet is not picking up my call, which is the reason my girlfriend left me. Women will not cease to amaze me. Let me try again. She's still not answering her calls. Mercy has moved on. She's left me. I need to stand my ground. 
I need to be a man. I need to find something to do, just to have little to eat. <sighs> what do I do? I need to do that as soon as possible until Mercy comes back. I know she's going to come back because she loves me. How can she just move on like that? Oh God, Juliet, okay, what's wrong with that girl? Switched off. Are you kidding me? Whatever you want to say, because I'm late for work. Uh, Missy, I love you. And I promise you, I won't hurt you like your ex did. Will you shut up your trap? Shut up! You love who? I mean, you men are all the same. You are all the same. Leave here at once and never come back. Never come back! No, no, no. Missy, I'm James. sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. Get out! Before I do something crazy to you. Get out! Leave! Get out! Babe, you are taking this thing too far. Huh? Your past relationship is something you should let go immediately and go into a new one to prove to that guy that he is nothing to you. But stop it, Bella. Stop it! What is wrong with you? Look, if you continue like this, I swear I will leave your house and go to the hotel. What are you even saying? I am here to hear from, from, from the one I just came out from and you're telling me to jump into another one. It's okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. You're what you get from me. You know what is your car. It's okay, just come. Yes. What? What are you doing here? And how did you gain access to my house? The door was not locked. That is the more reason you should have waited for me outside. Or better still, go back to your house. You, you can't just walk into my house in my absence and start smoking and drinking. James, why do you always treat me like I'm nothing? Hmm? Can't you see this bony desire of love in my eyes for you? Love kill you there! What? Wait, you've been talking about marriage, marriage, right? If I marry you today, what do you have to offer? Nothing. You do not even have a job and you are not interested in getting one. The only thing you know how to do is to drink, smoke, and party around. What else do you have to offer? Nothing. James, I'll change. I can change because of you. I'll change. Good and bad. I just want to be polite right now. Just get out of my house. Whenever you 
change, you come back to me. Please. You know I'm a perfect gentleman, right? But I wouldn't want to bounce on you. Please. I already had a bad move where I'm coming from. So I wouldn't want to transfer a pressure to you. Please, just respect yourself and get out. Leave me. What are you doing here? Juliet, if everyone should abandon me, not you. After everything I have done for you? Are you serious? You're smoking my cigarette? Yeah, something wrong. What do you want? Huh? What do you want? You left me. What do you want? There's nothing here left for you. So get your shit and get out of my house. You're sitting properly? Yes. Okay. Enjoy the show. my dearest friend as God has added another day to your life he will continue to bless you amen from strength to strength amen amen, amen. who is there please come in the door is open three months is who is missing that's me who sent that? I mean, I wanted my birthday to be a low-key thing. Just me and my girlfriend. So, who sent the gift? Ma, I think we should collect the gift first. I am not collecting a gift if you do not tell me who sent it. Fine. The sender sent a note inside. You can check it. Alright. Happy birthday, Mercy, from James. My love, I was supposed to be here to celebrate with you my lifetime crush. experience want to stare at me at the face. Why can't I let go? Why can't I let go of the experience? Afraid, my dear friend. 
Even Jesus failed three times and he rose respectively. At this point, my dear friend, you need to be happy for yourself and for me, your friend. You were eavesdropping on me. Yes. I decided to be. Because I don't want to make you angry again. I decided to let you make your decision concerning who brought this gift. Bella. I don't want you to give up on me. Okay? I'm sorry for the other day. Look, I appreciate you. I appreciate you so much. In my next life, I still want you to be my best friend. I am so proud of you being there for me. I am so proud of the love you've shown <laughs> me, Bella. And I will forever need your advice, day in and day out. You're making me emotional. Come here. But it's okay. I am still highly optimistic that she will come back. Now, she's a new guy for me. By the time she come back to come and beg me, I will show her that I am the guy's guy. See, now I have accepted Christ as my Lord and personal Savior. <laughs> no, for real. And if I look into the spirit world, I see mercy coming to this house to ask for forgiveness. She will come back here to ask me to take her back. Don't worry, you see it now. Guy, I see you. You're very funny. What about Juliet? Who be that? Juliet. Mm -hmm. How can I take Juliet back into my life? Huh? That girl is evil. She's the reason Mercy left me. And she's a thief too. Do you know why? That engagement ring we have buy to propose to Mercy. Who's in a city farm? Yes, now. Now, should I take that ring? That kind of girl, eh, she would extort money from you. They go give a man which love. She, you know. Love. Yeah, now. She would extort from you. Juliet can never in her life love anyone. She does not have any altar of love in her. Juliet, love. So let me tell you, the only thing Juliet knows is rounds, money. <laughs> rounds, money. That's all. Say love. <laughs> see, see, guy, my dog. See, see that Juliet. Eh? Any guy that she decides to love, eh? she will really click the guy. She will play the person very well. Don't be mm -hmm. the same Juliet way you could stay for this house before. Uh -huh. Now we will talk about. Say good. <laughs> ah, Pastor Toby prophesied that this day will come. What did I tell you? I said I looked into the spirit world and I saw mercy coming into this house to ask for forgiveness. I know this man now. <laughs> You came to ask for forgiveness and you came with this man. It's been two months, Mercy. Two whole months. And you're not coming to ask for forgiveness. You're bringing this man. See, the only way I am going to accept you, the only condition is when you kneel down and <clears throat> beg me. No, I, wait. In fact, I've changed my mind. I've changed my mind because of this man here. See, I can accept any apology, but not from this man. Never. Well, you're wrong. I oh, say I'm wrong. <laughs> Meet my fiance, James. And we're engaged. About to be married. See? So I came here to pick up my remaining belongings. And he's also here to assist me. Now, if you excuse me, I'll be right back. How are you? 
This is the right time for you to kneel down and beg this girl. So kneel I, down? Yes, now, so that you don't come back and start crying. Oh. Kneel down in front of mercy. Guy, I am a man of God. <laughs> and the Bible says, no man should bow down before any mere mortal or any God. A man of God like me cannot kneel down in front of a mere mortal. It's not possible. What are you telling me? I'm telling my wife that. I've told you, just, this is just the right time. I'm not going to kneel down. Guy, see, you better beg now. Hmm? So now later now, you start crying. You come back to me, you start crying. Cry because of mercy. You don't, you don't see, you don't, you don't see the girl. I'm going to cry for mercy. Hey. Huh? Guy, beg down. Man. Beg this girl. Mercy, she don't come out. Mercy. <laughs> so you want to leave me because of this man? Why? Because of this man you want to leave me? Are you serious? Respect yourself. If you don't stay away from my face in this minute, I will damage your face. Wait, 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 wait. Look at her very well. Is this not the same woman? You came to me demanding your money so you can forget about her. Is she not the one? Talk! Say something. Huh? Yes. So you actually wanted to sell me out for money? I did not sell you. Toby, after everything that I did for you. Olga. Well, congratulations. Because I already sold myself to him. Olga. And we are getting married soon. Olga, did I collect any money from you? I'll make you feel. Hey, let's let's wait. Don't touch me. Let's get your hands off me. Just respect yourself. Respect yourself. Respect yourself. You respect yourself. I am talking to mess, not you. Respect yourself. Stay in your lane. Allow them go, guy. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you two? Why are you stopping? contributed to why he fell down and sustained the spinal cord injury, which paralyzed his legs. He needs so much care and love now from people that love him so much. Doctor, his mother is not in the country at the moment. So I suggest we employ a nanny, I mean someone to take care of him. He's suffering from psychological and emotional trauma. He needs someone whom his heart truly accept to revive him. He might not live up to one year. In this case, so many people don't live up to one year. But the luckiest ones do live up to one year. Why the unlucky ones just stay up to six months? So he needs love and care. Thank you, Doctor. I will discuss it with my fiance. Let's do it. You look disturbed. What is the problem? I think he's not about to be. I know I swore never to have 
anything in common with him. But Toby needs my help. Toby needs your help. Who says so? See, you have tried enough for that guy. You've given him your help by clearing the hospital bills. The mother's international number is not going. She's no longer on social media. No WhatsApp. I can't reach her anywhere. She has finally given up on Toby. I don't blame that woman. It's better to be childless than to have a son like Toby. So what do I do? What, what do I do? Toby really needs my help. Your fiancé is not happy about this. I know that. I know. But I can't help it. He felt bad when he saw me crying at the hospital. But you know, Toby, the words he said and his tears made me cry. Look, Bella, that I am alive today. Toby contributed to it. And he wants to take the life he once saved. See, Mercy, don't allow Toby to, to blackmail you with those tears of his. Don't. I am just coming from the hospital. So I decided to stop by to discuss an important issue with you. You know what we both passed through just to make my relationship with Mercy to work out? Please. I want you to do me a favor. I don't want you to allow any form of connection between Mercy and Toby anymore. You know how Mercy was so attached to that guy? Bella, please, I want you to take care of Toby. God forbid. I can't have myself take care of that monster. I can't. See, uh, the doctor said he, he has just six months to one year to live. And that all he needs right now is the best care he can ever get. And I wouldn't want my fiancé to do that. You see, that monster will not even allow me to take care of him. So the best thing here is for us to get a man that will stay with him and take care of him. That is all. And he will prefer mercy to, you know, take care of him. So I'm not there. Okay, now. I should be on my way. Yes, Bella. Toby is in a bad situation. He has the doctor said he has a few months to leave. You know, I went to see him at the hospital today. And he he told me that he would not leave if I leave him. And he promised me that he's ready to change. He said a lot of things. He confessed to me that he knows he has lived a bad life and he's ready to change. He doesn't want me to go. He said he still loves me and he can't do without me. He said his friends, his family, everyone has abandoned him. He even threatened to kill himself if I leave. He threatened to kill himself. I don't know what to do. I don't know. He also said he's changed, that he's now a changed man. He said he's, 
he no longer do those bad things that he normally do before. But Bella, I don't know what to do because I can't be with Toby. I am already with James. I am engaged to James. So what do I tell James? I don't want to hurt. I don't want to hurt James. I don't want to. <laughs> comes to his former date. See, any little opportunity, they will just click and get connected back. These things are normal. You know what I'm talking about. How do you expect me to allow you to go and stay with your ex? Baby, you are mine now. Honey, I'm yours. And no one is taking me from you. Honey, I swear to you that I am not going to have anything to do with Toby. I will forever obey you. Please. Toby needs the best care he can get before he dies. I can't thank you enough for today. Thank you so much. It's, it's okay. So, you're saying that cult boys did this to you? Yes. He's a notorious guy in my faculty. He's been asking me out, but I refused. And he said it's a letdown for any girl to reject him. So, I was going for my clearance today, and he attacked me with his voice. I'm so sorry about that. So, um... Did you say you're done with school? Yes. I just want to say thank you. Oh, God bless you. It's fine. I mean, I owe you my life. <laughs> it's okay. Whenever you're ready, I'll take you home. I'm sure your parents must be worried and they've been trying to reach you since they took your phone away from you. Yeah, my parents are really worried. But thank you. It's okay. I'm sure anyone will do what I did for you. And uh, for the hospital bill, thank you very much. I'm sure my father would insist on paying you back. Ah, it's okay. Well, this is one of my father's houses. I live here alone, so you can stay here to whenever you're ready to go. And about the hospital bill, come on, it's nothing. It's just 50K. Did you say 50k is nothing? <laughs> it's nothing. This is swag, Lord. I got you. Alright? <laughs> That's really funny. You like that? <laughs> AKA Twitchy. It's Royal Highness in the swag. See, I like that smile in your face. So, honey, please allow me. Allow me so I can pay him back for saving my life. Please. <laughs> Okay, fine. I will let you only on one condition. The doctor said he is due to be taken home. Yes, he said so. But honey, what's your condition? Tell me whatever it is, I am ready to accept it. Any condition. I want to thank you for accepting to take care of me. You don't need to thank me. You should thank him. 
I mean, if not for his approval, I wouldn't be here today. Um, Toby, I want you to cooperate with us so we can help you. The doctor said you need as much care as you can get. You don't need to paint the words for me. I know what the doctor said. I only have six months to a year to live. No. Don't say that. You're going to leave. You won't die. You need to have faith. Okay? Um, so I'll be taking you to one of the rooms downstairs while my fiance and I would stay in one of the guest rooms. You'll be fine, okay? Uh, excuse me, guys. Um, let me pick our stuff from the car. What is wrong with you? Why are you being moody? Look, you need to thank James. If not because of him, I won't be here today. What's wrong with you? Whatever decision you make, I cannot object it. I'll just ask God in my next life I meet someone like you. So I wouldn't make the same mistakes again. Stop saying that. Uh, guy, as a man, this is the hardest decision I've ever taken in my life. Allowing my own fiance to go and take care of her ex. <laughs> One name. All the quite risky. All the very, very risky. <laughs> ah! The man James. The man James. You can never stop amazing me. <laughs> you're a bad guy. I understand why you're saying it's risky because I did a jazz on Afuchon, okay? <laughs> you're this guy. But you know you're a bad guy. Yo. <laughs> Anyways, the good thing about it is that the man is incapacitated. You and I know that. You know? Someone who asks for help to get up. Do you think he will have what it takes to be able to do shikwa shikwa on top of a woman? He won't be able to sleep with a girl now. So your thing is still saved. <laughs> Besides, the doctor said that his last man is short, meaning he may die soon. So you have nothing to worry about. <laughs> you don't you see it? Bro, the problem here is whenever they are together, there is this connection. You know, there's this connection that exists between them. And whenever he comes around, Messi will just act and pretend like nothing is really happening. Of course, what else do you expect? That it's obviously supposed to be that connection and tied. In fact, chemistry. And if you're there now, she's not supposed to start acting like a total stranger to somebody that she has been for over five years. <laughs> obviously, there's supposed to be that connection, of course. You understand? <laughs> Well, um, anyway, he's just a dying man. Huh? Yes. And I wouldn't want God to blame me that may I contributed to his death. You understand? If not, there's no how I will allow mercy to go there. I beg, may we go down our joint, go do one or two. Guy, this is your talk now. <laughs> Oh, 
That's, that's I, I feel. Yeah, you feel like I was just so trying to get to. <sighs> I'm with being with you. so kind. You were kind to me before. And you saved my life. Toby, I will do everything to make sure you get back on your feet. I'm also talking to a foreign doctor. I told him about your condition and he said there's a possibility you will live. What's the point to live? Tell me. What is the point? Why did you just let me live for six months and die? No. Yes. You will not die. Mercy, seeing you get married to another man will make me miserable. I can't take it. You won't die. You will leave to be a better man for your mother and for yourself. Here for you. Hmm? I am here to cover up for Mercy, my friend, who went to the office to handle some things. You think I'm one of those women you can sweet talk? Hmm? I'm not one of those ladies. So don't take me for granted. Bella, if I have ever offended you, I'm sorry. What is that? If you have over. Or what? I don't I don't understand. If you've offended me many times, and you're saying if. Please. I'm thirsty. <laughs> Can I have some water to drink? You're thirsty. You see? You see how life is? Hmm? You are pooping in your body right now. You are urinating on your body. You see, all oh, this your gara gara, all oh, this your coffee, beating women anyhow, treating people anyhow. Last last, this is where you are, on a wheelchair. You want to drink water? Don't worry. Let me go and get you water to drink. Looking at me like that. Stop looking at me like that. Don't melt my heart with this your look. It won't work for me. Why 
What is it? See, eh? see, if it's not because of me, eh? I'll push you down from this wheelchair. I will do worse things to you. In fact, I will break your bones. Not because of her. But you see, if I hear any of these things from her, if you tell her any of these things, hmm, you will die the next day. You are a wicked man. You are a real monster. You are shedding tears. You sense man. I have to face reality. I see a strong connection between Mercy and Toby, even in his present condition. The way Mercy play and laugh with him, and each time I come, she will just adjust. This shows that she is just with me for pity. I need to tell myself the truth. I am a man. I need to be loved and not for pity. No. I granted Mercy the permission to stay with him. It is true he can't make love considering his condition. And I have no right to accuse Mercy for anything. But God, I am so jealous. Me that is healthy. I don't even flow with her as she flows with that guy. God, I need help. about my kiss. Is that your request? I thought you were going to request for money. You that I know. Money doesn't move me anymore. Yes. Even if I have all the money in this world, it's worthless. But getting a kiss from you can help with my healing. He got me right on the hook, yeah, I love you, my mercer, he loves me, he cares for me. Where's my skin? Deep it in eyes. What? <gasps> this is it. You. You know. Babe. Babe. Yes. Maya, 
na tuto. Baman! See, Baman! Do not allow me to call you to bring drink here. Make sure you bring one bottle here every 20, 20 minutes. I have my money, I will pay. Is it our money? I will pay. Come on, Jeff. Are we going to drink? Are you, uh, we don't know. Are drink you stupid and mess yourself up with drinks? Are you a widow? She me. The man, what are you doing? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Girl, you have to put yourself together now. The man, no. You can't come out here and embarrass yourself with so much bottles. You know, I warned you about this. I saw it coming and I told you. You were bent on giving Missy attention rather than giving Juliet attention that I told you about. For you to start taking drinks like a drunker. Guys, so this thing now. You won't even be able to stand up and walk with your two legs now. Says who? With these things you have, this thing is, is, is saying it. Look at how many bottles. Who knows if they have taken some inside? Stop this thing you're doing. I'm not going to face this way. Jason, if you may ask, you will have to marry the one that loves you much more than you do. In that case, the marriage will stay. <laughs> now tell me, what do you know about love? Give Juliet a chance. You can actually change that girl to the woman you desire. I'm not seeing any difficult tax there. Give that girl little attention. With the kind of love I've seen her shown to you, that girl will be a good wife. Think about this thing. Now come, I have to take you home. Change over, electrician. I've heard you. Okay, you are drunk. Stop now. The more of this you take, you, you won't be able to stand. Okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. What is wrong with you now? Eh? Take you home. Come. Oh, okay. It's too late. I want to, I want to pee. pee. I want to pee. Okay. Just let, let, let's go. Uh -uh. I want to be with you. What do you mean? Hey, stop that! What are you doing? Am I this? What are you doing inside the toilet? Please go, please go, please go. See, see what you're doing to yourself. What are you doing inside the toilet? Security! It's a public place. Security! Mama, please hold on. Let me take him to camp. Come in. Stop now. The man is here. Stop now. Okay, no, I'm not joking. to my words, not minding if they are going to hurt me or not. I do not. Listen, I have engaged the girl I want to marry. And nothing is going to stop me from getting married to her. Nothing. Just please, I beg you. I'm so sorry. I'm very sorry. See, I'm a changed person now. I know the problem you had with me was smoking. And I've quit smoking. See, I'm even coming from fellowship now. I'm trying to be a decent girl, please. Nah. You traitor. So after gallivanting with my ex, you are here again to ruin my own home? Huh? Honey, you're back. Were you listening to us? Yes. I had everything. And I know you don't have
anything to do with her. She's the one throwing herself at you. Exactly what she did with Toby. You see this girl here? She's the reason why Toby and I separated. Juliet. So you know Toby? Toby and I were not meant to be. I'm meant for you, James. Please, I'm a changed person. Please. This is nonsense. Now get out. Get out! Get out! Out. I do not want to see her here. Get out to get out of here. You hurt my wife. No, please. Let's go. <laughs> out, out. Out! Get out! Oh, Drop this. Okay, it's just a home breaker. That's Tony's ex. She was dating Toby. It's okay. And I, I promise you this. You have showed me nothing but love. And the last thing I would want to do is hurt your feelings. I would never want to do that. You're the realest man that I have ever seen. For letting me go take care of my ex. That's the hardest decision for any man to make. But you led me through. I just want you to know that I love you so much. And I love you too. You know it, right? <laughs> you know I love you more. I know. I love you. I don't do anything to make you happy. All I want is your happiness. What are you trying to say? I will draw the line towards anything that will make you happy. And that's why you're the best. So, now that you are here with me, who is taking care of me? My friend Bella. I told her I'll be sleeping over here. So, I begged her to help me take care of him. And she accepted. Good. So, what is your next plan? Or are you going to be there taking care of him forever? Uh, no. No. After six months, I will leave. And uh, by then, he should be able to take care of himself. Or maybe get a nanny. That's what I plan to do. It's okay. But thank you. Thank you for letting me do this. Thank you. <laughs> Let's go to bed. This boy, you are a witch. You know how to penetrate into people's hearts with this so witchcraft. But it will not affect me. I know who I am. Eh? You're using this your sweet mouth and this your cunning attitude to make waves into Mrs. Heart again, right? You see?
what is it again? Eh? Eh? Why is your face like that? I am sorry. I'm sorry, just that you messed things up. Eh? And this time around, it is too late. With you, it's not too late. Is that what you think? When I came here, I've comforted you the way you were treating me. You wanted to fight me. You wanted to beat me up. Now look at you. Huh? Look at your drugs. Take your drugs. I don't have anything to say to you. that you have a heart of gold. Mercy, if I shouldn't be grateful for anything, I should be grateful to God for bringing me into my life. I thank God for hope that I will live and breathe the air of life, hoping that I will work again and not branded to die in the next six months. God bless you. And oh, um, I cooked for you. You did what? I cooked. Though it was stressful, I had to reciprocate the love you, you know, showed me. Knowing that you're going to be someone else's wife, If only I could turn the hands of time, I would rewrite all I have done. But it's too late. I would have to live with the regrets knowing that I've lost you forever. You didn't lose me, okay? Yes, I, I know I'm going to be someone else's wife. still there and we're friends friends you say that is not enough knowing that I'm not going to see you every day it's boring do you know that could actually reduce my longevity Toby please can you stop saying this? You don't have to wish death upon yourself. You are fine. Been a mess, been afraid. He got me right on the yes, who is that? Love my mercy, that is open. Curse for me. I love you, Mercer. Ah, oh. 
I do. Right. This is how you came to my house today. I hope all is well. I don't have food though. Must I be known for food alone? Hmm? I'm a grown-up man now. See, I bought something for you. This is you. You bought this for me. Wow, thank you very, very much. Thank you. You're welcome. Damn. Um, Bella. Yes. You know, I might not have rich parents like the way you people do. But I managed to pass through the four walls of the university. And yet there is no job. And that's why I managed to live my life on the low do I see it. So I don't know. Um, don't see me as if the only value I have in this life is food. So that's why I managed to please please stay please on stop. The way. Stop. It's okay. I am not judging you, Bright. I was only joking. Okay? I'm sorry about that. Please let me go and get you something to eat. No, no, no. Thank you. I, I didn't come here for food. I came here for a very important thing. What is it? Bella, what about that stuff I told you about the other day in Toby's house? I'm, I'm very serious about it. I want you to make me a complete man. Bright! Did anybody tell you to come and tell me all these things? No. I came here on my own. Now allows you to drive his car, spend his money. My dear, he sent me to come and buy something for him. And then stock up his house. Of course, I'll use the car. You see what I'm saying? That guy loves you. Yeah. Yes. You know, there's some person that don't know how to say it. You see, action speaks louder than words. True, but anyway, everything concerning me, I have handed it over to God. So, I need to retire back to the house. My fiance is really worried. We we're supposed to be here together, but he went back to the house. That man is a good man, and I don't want to hurt him. Um, the guy is almost fit, but he still needs some mental correction and experience. He was able to re uh, recover quickly because you have a strong connection with him. And it's that connect that has made him to be active. Uh, the result has been out because of that connection. You see, paralysis is something that has a connection with the brain. And the brain needs to be setting before it can reset. This thing is really affecting my relationship. Can't we get him a nanny at this point so I can return back to the house? Well, you can go back to the house if the guy is not so dear to you. That if anything happens, you can be here. But if he's so dear to you, then try and give him some time to reset. Toby is very dear to me. He was supposed to be my husband, but I guess the devil manipulated him. But now I am entangled and committed to someone, and I don't want to break his heart or hurt him. 
I understand how you feel. All right. I understand it. But you know, this has to do with saving someone's life. I know this has lingered for over four to five months now. Yes, I know. But just in a month time or so, he might be okay going to go out and play with friends and stay with other people. Hmm? But thank you. Thank you for the marvelous job you did. Thank you. Yes, God. I almost lost hope when the doctors said he was going to die. Uh, no. It is not totally his fault. It is from the lab technicians. You know, the result was not clearly stated. But it is good he is getting better now. Yeah. So, let me take my leave. I love you, Marsta. I think that I lost my mind being immersed, being afraid. He got me right on the hook. I love you, my Marsta. He loves me. He cares for me. Where's my skin? Deep it in eyes. It's fine. You did great. What about my gift? Um, I'll be the one to choose your gift. Hmm, what do I give you? I am someone's wife now. So back off. You know I love you so much. I truly love you. I have no doubt that you love me. I'm not doubting it. Remember I told you that I'm willing to do and support anything that will make you happy. You once told me how to be saved your life. And I'll be so heartless if I stop you from not rewarding him back the way you deserve. Yes. You know I love you. Thanks for understanding. I love you too. It's okay. Mm -hmm. The first shall be the last, and the last shall be the first. Yes. Within one month, you're already engaged, and the marriage date is fixed. It's God. I'm so happy for you. I mean, who would have believed that Bright would ever get serious with life? 
I'm so happy for you, baby girl. Congrats, 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 congrats. Thank you. Thank you, my dear friend. Okay, um, so I want to invite you and Bright for Toby's survival party. Okay. Yes. Yes. Though I know Toby's still going to tell Bright. But I want you to know that you both are highly invited for the survival party. Of course. I go there then now. Okay. I'm more sure. And after that, I'll be going home that very day so I can go fix my own home as well. <laughs> <laughs> my worries now is that for you to go and meet your fiancé, that guy has really tried. He has. Yes, he has. But I'm worried. Because I, I feel like my stay in Toby's house is changing him. But I understand him. I understand him. I just don't want to believe that he's cheating on me. I because think. if I catch him cheating... Well... I, I don't believe so. No, no, no. He can't cheat on you. He can. Excuse me. My phone is drinking. Hello? Hey, Dito Dito. What's up? Ah, this one that you're calling me today. And you didn't come to see me. I told you I am not interested. I don't gamble anymore. You hear me? My friend, get off my phone. Can you imagine? Sorry. Yes? Hey. Can you imagine Dito just called me? Dito? Yes. Telling me he has one sure odd for me to gamble. 10k and win 1 million naira. What did you say? I, I'm not interested. He knew I was sick and he didn't come to see me. Can you imagine? What? You used to gamble. I don't do that anymore. Yeah. I'm a changed guy. So, why, why are you looking this pretty? Just to come and see me? Wait. Toby, did you just say you don't gamble anymore? Did I stutter? I don't. So wait, all oh, this, look, it's just to come and see me. Yes, so see? how are you doing? Well, <laughs> seeing the... Right, told my man, hey. the man is man. They won, they won, they won, they won. Ah. I, I'm so happy for you. Bro, <laughs> see us. Love the hit you left and right. I don't know, I don't You are so complete. <laughs> you are so complete. Oh my God! <laughs> Please, from you. Don't worry. God will reward you. Ah, amen. From your mouth to God's ears. I'm actually not here now. God will do it for you. Yes. Mm. It's just that my friend, a very good friend, that worked so hard to turn you into a good man, is not here to enjoy it. God is well. He's well. God knows the best. Hmm? Don't worry. <laughs> my man! No, listen, no, listen. Right too. I'm so happy now that you've come to me again. Thank you. Thank you. But right now, you pop something and we are going to have a drink. Alcohol. We are going to have a drink. No, no, they are. Yeah, let's, pop, let's pop something. Alcohol. Right, I don't take alcohol nor smoke anymore. But I have juice in the fridge. About which one? Juice. Very cold juice. I can add ice to it for you. Right, just to quench your thirst. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Bro, hey, juice. There's no problem. There's juice in the fridge. Um, so what I have to do is to go to that kitchen 
I'm fix something for us. It's food. 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 Better food. As drink, no come now. Food today. There's a supposed to call you Bright Foodie. No, I don't know. I say food come board. Ah, you guys are my family now, and I appreciate you very so much. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Listen, my dear. I know you're surprised to see us. It is true I came into your life at a point where things were terrible for you. And I'm aware of the fact that you accepted me out of pity. Yes, because I was all over you, I was pestering around, I was forcing myself to you just to prove how much I love you. But what did I gain? You kept on going back to Toby. Even when Toby was incapacitated, you were there for him. You were playing and flowing with him more than you do with me. I had to go through reality and understand that we were meant to be friends and not lovers. You see, Juliet here, she has been there for me. She has been all over my neck. I can't even count the number of times that we fought. I can't count the number of times that I sent her out of my house. But she kept coming back and begging. That is the type of love we all need. The way you love Toby and the way Juliet loves me. But let's see, how could you? After everything Toby did to you, you still went back to him. I wish you good, good luck. As for me, I have decided to move on with Juliet. James, how could you? I mean, how could you do this to me? Huh? To us? How? <laughs> well, if you must know, in my life and the next, I will always be here for you. <laughs> I mean, James, you showed me nothing but love. True love, unconditional love. <laughs> And to prove my love and sincerity to you. And to also prove that I have nothing with Toby. I am ready to remain single. If I won't marry you, I would remain single as an honor to prove to you that I still love you. Mercy. 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 Hey man, we are here for your survival party. Get out. Huh? Get out of my house. It's okay, it's okay. Leave. You hear them? Get out! Leave! Oh, come down. Leave. 
Thank you. They're gone. This is just this is whatever. Everything. I love you, Come on, your food. You find something to check. Yes, now. Don't stay at the kind of day. Let's move with your food, guy. Get out of my house. I will break your head, though. I said, get out. Let's go. Are you mad? I'm sorry for everything. I died so many times knowing that I wouldn't set my eyes on you again. But here you are. Please. I am so sorry. You are the best thing that has ever happened to me. In my next life, I will still want you to be my mother. I promise you on this day that I will never hurt you or make you cry again. Never. Happy for your change of attitude. I'm so happy that you've really changed and become the real man I wanted you to be. Stand up. Get up and sit. Mom, I am not doing this for you right now. But I'm here for you to be. And I love you so much. 
love you so much. You know that, right? You know, I thank God for the kind of man James is. He read through my heart and he realized that my heart and soul yearns for you. Hereby making a huge sacrifice to drop all his emotions just to allow reality to sail through. Yes. Yes, I know I was with him. But when we connected back, I, I, I don't know. I mean, my spirit and my emotions rested on you. And left James with mechanical attention. And James being the guy with a golden heart, he chose a path making way for true relationship to hold today. Yes. I'm sorry. And I'm grateful. I'm grateful for you and James. This means a lot to me. Mom and I, we had a serious meeting with James and we resolved that I should be here with you. So now, tell me, what do you see when you look at me? I see a woman with a very big heart. I see a woman that loves me so much. I see myself in your eyes. Deep 
This calls for celebration. Oh. Yes, it does. Let's see. I I kept I kept something upstairs. <laughs> We'll see it. Immediately after the staircase, we'll see something there. <laughs> I'll be right back. 